Hello everyone, my name is Gerardo Gamber, and welcome to the Necromancer beta test for Diablo 3. I was very, very excited. What? Is that my beta banner? That is... That is very strange. Okay, well that's not my banner, but whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> welcome to the Diablo test. Uh, I wonder, do I have any... Nope. Don't have any of my stuff unlocked. That's really sad. <gasps> oh, but oh, we get to try out the uh, Diablo banner. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well we're gonna put that away for now because it's a little bit strange. I've never, I actually don't have that. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, but we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna play around a bit. I don't often do videos on Diablo, and that's because I find myself so mesmerized. Uh, hold on, vertical sync. <laughs> It undoes all your settings for some reason. Sync. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay, there we go. I don't have this really annoying vertical sync. Not enough. I literally just started playing this and decided, hey, I'm going to record it. Um, I've been very excited for the Necromancer class. And it's definitely something I don't get to see very often. Um, I don't get to see new stuff for Diablo as it comes out. I'm usually playing it after the fact. I did not buy Diablo when it first came out. I got into it before it was sold. And this is really exciting to be a part of the beta. Audio settings are a little bit loud, though. Do they sound that way? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we're getting straight into this. <laughs> I understand so much more now. Do you understand so much? This is really fun. This is really exciting. I like this. I like this a lot. I've got a huge fucking smile on my face because I remember Diablo, um... I remember Diablo 2's Necromancer. And it was a class I really liked until the Druid came out because they stopped updating the Necromancer. It just wasn't on par with the other classes. Still a fun class to play but it wasn't what I remembered when the game was new. So this is really cool to be able to play the Necromancer here now in Diablo 3. And it, this will be coming out in about a month's time, possibly. Um, it remains to be seen. I would hope so. Corpse Explosion. I'm never a fan of Corpse Explosion. It's not terrible. It's just I was never a big fan of it. They're giving me an overabundance of corpses. Is that just how the Necromancer works? I have this new energy system where I can consume these corpses or use them like that. Bone spear for days. Holy shit. They really made Corpse Explosion a lot stronger than it was in the previous game. This is just really cool. I like this. I like this. It's a new character. It's a whole new class. And... I know more or less a lot of things are pretty similar from class to class, but in the case of a summoner or, I don't know, a character that applies a lot of interesting effects, the Necromancer definitely has a place. My essence, though. The essence seems to be a very interesting system. The Necromancer doesn't, um regain their... It doesn't regenerate. Essence does not regenerate like magic or wrath or any of that stuff. You have to consume corpses or you have to use a spender a generator. So, not a spender, a generator. <laughs> so it's, it's interesting playing a character that is so unique from the others. I think if they make more hero classes, which I'm sure they will for Diablo 3, they're going to make characters that... I have a belt. I like belts. Thank you for my belt. Um, they're going to make unique character classes. They're not going to be the same old stuff. Okay, I've unlocked Skeletal Mage, so we're going to test that out here in a moment. On the next floor! On the next floor! Yes! This is so cool. This is the second beta I've ever been in. Skeletal Mage! Skeletal Mage! Boom! Blow it up! Blow it up! Holy shit! <laughs> that was cool. I really should turn off these tutorials. They're kind of pissing me off, but... 
I know how to play this game. I know this. Yes. Boom. I will just destroy you. I will mess your face up. I'll do all that stuff. I think my skilled mage just got consumed by acid. I gotta stop casting corpse explosion. There's no. There we go. When there's no corpses. Deckard Cain wants to tell you a secret. Deckard Cain will whisper sweet nothings in your ears. Boom. Oh man. These Skeletal Mages are amazing. In Diablo 2, Skeletal Mage was something that would follow you around indefinitely. In this game, you have to actually... You actually, actually have to summon them in on the temporary. Um, at the same time, I think that's actually good, because that means they can't truly die. They will continue doing what they're designed to do until there's nothing more. Thank you. I'd like to blow up these corpses. God, this is so cool. Empowered tribe. You are empowered by the power of Deckard Cain and shit. I still feel the game is a little bit loud. You know, I feel maybe. Doesn't seem to have done a lot, but uh, beta test. It like puts your game at install standards, and it just it, it feels weird because you have everything the way you like it, but because the beta is like just literally a testing mode, it's not your actual account. It feels strange going into it and just not being able to. Take for granted all the settings you put into place so long ago. I'm playing on hard difficulty right now, I should mention. Um, the reason for that is that's the fastest way, if everything goes well, um, to level up in the season. This is technically season 11 that I'm playing on. Even though season 11 hasn't come out yet. This is... For all intents and purposes, testing phase for Season 11 and Necromancer. I'm not doing a lot of damage early. I think most of my damage is going to come from Corpse Explosion right off the bat. Boom. <laughs> come closer. Boom. Oh, that's so cool. Call me easily amused, but I'm enjoying this. The scythe, though, really, really, really takes a lot of essence out of the enemy. It's a pretty good generator. There's been some talk about the scythe ability. Uh, let's get a close up. Yeah, see that? Look at that. It's cool, huh? Uh, the scythe ability possibly will be getting a build. People are looking into ways of doing that. It's not a sure thing. I think it would be cool to have a generator build. Again, the Necromancer already appears to be very unique. They have abilities that drain their health in uh, in addition to granting them additional stats and just making those abilities a lot stronger. They don't regenerate essence. They get it from an outside source from corpses. But I think it would be cool to also give them that ability to have a really strong generator build. I don't know. I think the biggest disservice that... Diablo has is that Blizzard doesn't often give people the freedom that they would otherwise like. I'd like to see a lot more items come into play, a lot of things, since the game is item dependent. Tons of more items to add a whole wealth of new builds to the game. They shouldn't be concerned about things being overpowered. They should be concerned about the game getting mundane. I mean, with the addition of the Necromancer, it became a whole lot less mundane. <laughs> because it's so cool to just jump onto a new character in a familiar game. I think it's quite entertaining to be able to do that. 
take something you know and just change it up a little bit. Even if it's just one extra class and a few new things added to the game outside of that. There's a few new areas coming out, there's challenge rifts, a lot of new stuff coming in uh, patch 11. Sorry, season 11, not patch 11. God. Can I English tonight? I don't think so. Hey, yeah, give me a Crusader shield. I don't exactly need that. Um, I will take this dagger, though. And Necromancer gets their own unique kind of weapon, the scythe, and they also get a phylactery as well. Um, I, I'm definitely going to be modeling this character after my Wrath of the Lich King character. Can I, like, equip that? Thank you. Seems to be some stickiness with the items. I don't know what that's... A, what's happening there. Oh yeah, we're a lot faster than we were. Okay. You're at level 7 now. That's pretty nice. <laughs> this is so cool. I wanted a Necromancer to be in this since launch, and it never was. I think that's one of the real reasons I didn't get the game until Reaper of Souls, and I'd hoped that they would add a Necromancer in in Reaper of Souls. Technically, they have. This isn't an expansion or anything. This is an addition, and it's still Reaper of Souls expansion. Just add a bunch of mages to the mix. I don't... You know, I don't know if there's a way I can consume these corpses right now, or if I need an ability to do that. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> it's it's kind of difficult to figure out what I'm supposed to do with the corpse system. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be able to consume them, but I don't appear to be able to do that. Boom. Ow. Send in my skeletal mages there. Come on, do that thing you do so well. Don't don't kill me, please. Don't do me like this, Escadadale. S S. I can't talk tonight. I really can't. I woke up. It's a little bit hot. Uh, it's, it's been an awful couple of first few days of. The middle of spring. Is it even considered spring anymore? I don't know. It's how out of touch I am. <laughs> this is how tired I am. I'm tired. I'm playing as the Necromancer finally. I've got a smile from ear to ear. And I'm being pushed back. No, no lasers. Get those lasers away. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Stop it. I'm glad my uh, minions appear to be focusing the boss for the most part. God, this, uh. Yeah. I don't think the scythe was a good pickup here. This ability is not helping me out. Because I have to get close. And he is messing my shit up. There we go. Got him. I am a little bit stronger from that. Got some boots. Got these. Everything's an upgrade. Everything's an upgrade. That is not as good. Doesn't give me any bonuses or abilities, so it's technically worse than what I have. Okay. So now we can head over. Oric is very pleased with us. Ah, uh, this guy's thinking exactly like I am. I I've been wondering about the Rhymeheart weapon, which is like one of the rare swords in the game. They've been buffing it recently. And the reasons for buffing it is they're trying to get players to utilize it in builds. Um, and he's saying, does Rhymeheart's 20% on hit count for your pets too? He's trying to see if there's a frost build. But it wouldn't matter that they don't do on hit effects. Rhymeheart might still be useful if it uh, can be used. Uh, is this actually worth. I think it would be worth picking up, but. We don't have veil crystals, unfortunately. 
Oh, damn it. The thinking is, is that they're trying to make Reimhardt a useful weapon. It has, it, originally, it was a 10% chance to do, what was it? 10,000 frost damage or something whenever a enemy is frozen. And my thinking is, since they've upgraded it to 20% chance, um, it's a little bit more frequent than it was. My thinking is that for the wizard and the necromancer, now that they've created the necromancer completely new character class, they're taking into account a lot of the items they've changed, including Reimhardt. A lot of frost abilities. We have a lot of abilities that can make their way... I'm going to go back to Bone Spikes because that seems a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to keep Skeleton Mage. That, that's quite nice. Corpse Lance. I'll keep Corpse Explosion. Seems to help me out. I'm just... I, I'm, I'm pondering builds in my head of what will work. I know for a fact there are several really good uh, set builds. We have the Giant Demon Goat here. And um, we have the Bones of Rathma, Pestilence... Uh, Jess Esseth or Jesseth Arms. Jesseth Arms. Tragul's Avatar, Grace of Anarius. Uh, you have all these different set armors for the Necromancer, and there's some definitive builds coming out, but I'm curious to mix and match and kind of create something new myself. I don't know if that'll work. Oh yeah, my Wings of Valor. Almost forgot about those. Uh no self-respecting necromancer would have golden wings. <laughs> Use your blood shards here. Yeah, for what? Nothing? No thanks. <laughs> this guy is not like the witch doctor. Quiet, you. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I just wanted to play around with this. I'm going to do some more recordings here because I am very excited to test out the necromancer and see what I can see. I'm not getting a very good judge of the abilities right off the bat because I'm so low level, but as you get higher up in your levels, you, you get to see more of what the class is supposed to be appear, and I can tell you right off the bat I, I picked poorly when I chose the Grim Scythe ability um, against that boss. I didn't know it was going to be that boss, but that was a pretty awful way to start this. So, I'm going to end this here. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next episode. Diablo 3 the Necromancer beta tests.